Good Sunday morning. YouTube YTPC. Been a minute. Made it back home from vacation. Housekeeping. Smoking my radici. And in it is some black cherry something or another bulk blend I bought uh, in Orlando at a tiny little pipe tobacco head shop. Not bad. Anyways, give you a little vacation recap. Hot, humid, rained at least twice every day. Nice place to visit, but I don't want to live there. So, uh, did a little shopping. Let me set this down right here. On the way down, we stopped at Strauss Tobacconist in Florence, Kentucky. Nice people. Talked with Joe. I think it was Joe. But anyways, he asked where we were from. Told him, you know, his in-laws live two streets away from us. He was just up here a couple weeks ago. Which makes it convenient for me if I need something and he's on his way. Man, I can, I can get delivery. Anyways, uh, I was looking for a, a pipe. Actually, I've been looking for a pipe with a bamboo shank, but I can't find one. But I picked this up instead. Got me a nice uh, olive wood. For the life of me, I still can't see who made it. Looks like Hardcastle. Can't wait to smoke this. I hear olive wood is pretty good. Then went to that little head shop, tobacco shop in Orlando. Picked up a Rossi Fetitoria. Beautiful. Then on the way home, we went uh, went up through Daytona, stopped at Destination Daytona, and they have a tobacco shop in one of their shops. So picked up this Savinelli dry system. And if it smokes like my other seven number dry system, I'll be a happy person. Now, estate pipes. Stopped at an antique shop on the way down in Georgia. Somewhere near Valdosta, I believe it was. And grab this little horn here. It's a Smoker roll. Haven't done one of these shapes yet. So I figured this uh, this will be a good little. It will either turn out beautiful and I'll put it up for adoption or it'll go into the rack over here. Grab this big beat. I've had a few of these big bees. They clean up really nice, smoke really good. So that'll be available. Got a Dr. Gray bow, but not just any Dr. Gray bow. This is a Winter Games Lake Placid Olympics. Dr. Graybo. In great shape. Just a little cleanup. This will also be available. Uh, while we were at Strauss, picked up some uh, McBaron Cherry Ambrosia. 
been wanting to try this one and he had a can there so I got me some CMD bat in a hat trip was good hot, like I said hot 96 and like a hundred and thirty thousand percent humidity every day uh, had fun went to Epcot uh, different. I uh, did a couple of dinner theaters. I posted the one from Medieval Times there, the opening ceremony. That was that was great. The food was fantastic. Yeah, we went to Al Capone's dinner theater and uh, wasn't impressed. So, if you're down there, do the pirate one and skip Capone's. Left Friday morning to come back, went through Daytona, Jacksonville, everything was fine, couldn't see no, didn't see any remnants of the, oh, coffee, Florida mug, neighbor leaving. Uh, came up through South Carolina, came up through the Carolinas, couldn't really see any remnants of the storm or anything, so. Uh, everything was going good. We got on I-26, stopped and got gas somewhere near Bowman. Got back on the highway. Went about 20 miles. Had a tire blow out. So, pulled over to the berm, got off as far as I can, which was not really that far. 26 is narrow. But we got off. And we called for road service. We paid for it. And we use it. Took three hours for him to get there to change his tire. And during that three hours, I sat there and I watched truck drivers. No, not truck drivers. Steering wheel holders. As they came up on us, they would move over to the right and they would ride the white line to shake the car. And as most of you know, I'm a driver. I know quite a few drivers here on YouTube in the YTPC. And I call them professional drivers. So, in those three hours, I counted somewhere near 350 semi-trucks, straight trucks, that went by us. And out of that number, three moved over to the left lane to go around us to give us room. Very disappointed in my industry. And then the more I sat and thought about it, I thought about what has happened to our industry. We have semi-trucks tailgating us, which doesn't bother me a bit because you're not going to intimidate me. I do the speed limit, nothing but. I'm in the middle lane, you got three lanes, pick another lane, go around me. I'm in the right lane, you got two other lanes, pick a lane, go around me. You're not going to get me to speed up, you're not going to get me to move out of your way. Now, they'll intimidate my wife, which is why I do 99% of the driving. <coughs> The joke's on them. For the last 10 years, I've used a dash cam. And I had one on this trip. And I've gone through my dash cam and every truck that we can identify the company and a truck number, well, they received an email today with the, vid with the footage of the video of them moving to the right and trying to intimidate us by tailgating us. And I hope someday these companies that are just hiring drivers to put people in the seat, running them through a truck driving school, in seven days, get your CDL, go out and make $80,000 a year, they wise up and they return to hiring safe, professional drivers. That's my rant.
had to say it, had to get it off my chest. And hopefully I'll get some replies on my uh, emails that I sent these companies. And these are these are big name companies. You know, I, I just don't understand it anymore. But anyways, the wife went to pick up the dog. He was in camp all week. He'll come home, he'll be lazy for two or three days because he runs himself ragged too. And uh, these are state pipes. You see one that you would like to have. Say the word, we'll move it to the head of the line, and get it done for you. You can hit me up on Instagram, Corvette Jim 1984. Uh, email, Corvette at yahoo.com. Facebook, CJP Pipe Rescue. Hope to hear from you. Hope to see you again soon. And until we meet again, y'all keep on smoking. Pay it forward. Be true to yourself. Go sub a newbie or anybody. And have a good day.